If you're on Archery Talk, which I haven't logged into Archery Talk in a long time, and I'm sorry for that. I haven't done anything in a long time, and I'm sorry for that. Um, computer crashed, so that's why this is not going to have a whole lot of fancy graphics and, and music and cool stuff like that. Um, but I need to get something out to you guys. Today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a, uh, a glue test for arrow fletching. Okay? Um, most of you guys know me as the, as the fob guy and all that stuff. I do use blazers also. Okay, so, um, but it's neither here nor there. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be trying out one, two, three, four, five, six different glues. Okay, these are the glues I have here. I have uh, Goat Tough, all right, Premium, uh, Boning Platinum, Fletch Tight. Uh, boning Quantum XT Super Fletching Cement uh, G5 Blue Glue Loctite Gel Control uh, and Loctite Ultra Gel Control. Let me show you how I prepare my arrows, okay? All right, so the first thing I would do is I would take like a steel wool, right? Make some ethyl alcohol. Now, for wrapped arrows, what I actually do is I'll take a little bit of emery cloth. Okay, I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not supposed to do this. This is what I do. And then the same thing with the ethyl alcohol. And then when I prepare my fletchings, I do something very similar with the emery cloth. This is probably going way above and beyond, but I just, I don't like fletching arrows. Like, it's boring to me. Okay. Now, I know that there's going to be some people at home who's be like, dude, you go way over the top with, with arrow prep and all that stuff. You know what? I don't come to your house and tell you how to mow your lawn. All right? So, I don't like fletching arrows. It's plain and simple. I don't want to do it more than once. Okay? So... That being said, let's flesh some arrows. We let all the glues sit overnight. Um, I don't know if they recommended that you do that or not, but we did, mainly because I wanted to stop filming and drink beer. So that's what I did. First of all, a uh, real quick shout out to um, my buddy Tom, good friend Tom, and his beautiful, awesome fiance, Melanie. Uh, thank you guys both very much for the jigs that you let me have so I could do multiple arrows. Um, so thank you. Everybody should thank Tom and Melanie. Basically what it is, is the GoPro is going to catch, okay, uh, the weight, whatever weight we're at right now, okay. Um, the other tripod is there uh, for like cutaway shots and things like that. And this tripod right here is going to show you what the fletching is doing at the time of certain poundage. So I'm going to try to do a little, little split screen or maybe a picture in picture or something like that. So you guys can see what the glue is doing, what the fletching is doing, what the arrow is doing at whatever at whatever corresponding poundage so as you can see the setup we have here I modified my draw board so that I can insert an arrow in like so clamp it down with yo 
And then I'm going to use a hand winch right there that's connected to a digital readout scale that you will see on the GoPro. First one we're going to do, let's go with the uh, Loctite. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. So I don't know what poundage that was at, but when I review the camera, I will see. And away we go. Okay. Okay. That shit doesn't want to come off, does it? Okay. Next is the goat tough. And I think that this is more of a uh, an insert glue, but who knows? Oh, actually, look at that! Huh. Goat tough on the wrap shaft. XT. Okay, Boning Quantum XT. And that is that. Ultra.
Now this is the flesh type. Okay, and there's that. Fletch tight on the wrap. All right, guys, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm not saying that I fletched the best arrow out there. Um, there's thousands of people, I'm sure, that, that um, can fletch a better arrow than me. So, But the main reason I wanted to do this video is, I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of spending money on glue, okay? Um, you go to the store and you see, well, well and, and this glue is, is, is the color purple until it dries and then it's clear and this glue has perma stick and uh, this glue can hold a wildebeest whatever okay I just shoot archery when I bow hunt that's it I just want to glue I just want my fletchings not to fly off how about that if you could come up with the glue, if you're a glue manufacturer and you say on your friggin', you know, the package that it comes in, fletchings won't fall off. I will buy that. Can we can we figure one out, please? Some of them were clearly awesome. Some of them were clearly crap. So like I don't don't nobody sue me, okay? I hope I saved you guys a couple of bucks. Alright? Um I hope you enjoyed the video, and I want you all to know that I bled for you today because I got my finger stuck in the channel lock. <laughs>